Welcome to Drum Talk. Today's video is about the five most basic worship drum beats a drummer needs to know to play in a contemporary worship setting at a church. These five beats were chosen because when you master these five beats and you master the concept of sensitivity, dynamics, and tempo, you can be a successful worship drummer at a church. So let's get started. So let's start with the first beat. And the first beat is sometime ref sometimes referred to as the money beat. It is simply the one and three on the kick drum, two and four on the snare drum. I'm going to play it at 80 beats per minute. And just to give you a demonstration of the beat, Let's try this now as a more aggressive beat. And to do it at a more aggressive beat, I'm going to open the hi-hat up a little bit and get that sloshy hi-hat thing. Remember, when playing this beat, to make it sound good means you've got to play your kick and snare loud enough to overdo the sloshy hi-hat. So watch what I do to kind of lighten up on the hi-hat but still give the aggressiveness but also have the kick and the snare there. One, two, three. Four. Now another way to play this beat would be to play it at um, on the floor tom. You can ride on your floor tom. And this is another beat that does work. One and two and three and four and The second basic drum beat is what we call four on the floor. And four on the floor is simply what it says. Four on the bass drum, two and four on the snare drum, and we're gonna to continue to do eighth notes. One, two, three, four. beat is called the build beat and the build beat is just basically playing both hands doing eighth notes one and two and three and four and and the bass drum doing one two three four on the kick drum so it's four on the floor with eighth notes in both hands and this is kind of used to build up a section into a breakdown or to build into a uh, chorus section usually. It's usually something they use in bridges, but it could not necessarily, or pre choruses. One, two, three, four. doing the build into the, the straight first beat. 
the money beat. All right, the next one is called the tribal beat. And I'm gonna put the tribal beat and the march together. So I'm gonna start with the march and then I'll build into the tribal beat. And we're gonna use the same basic accent pattern to do both of these beats. So let's start as the march beat. It's gonna be alternating 16th notes with accents. And it's gonna sound something like this. One E and a two E and three E and four. I did that on the, the, not the last time, but the time before that, I actually put a five stroke roll at the very end on the and uh, of four. And that's just doubling up those notes. That's a little bit more intricate part, but it gives it more of that marchy feel. But basically it's one E and a two E and a three and four. One E and a two E and three E and four. And this time I'm gonna go from the march into the tribal groove, and the tribal groove is using the toms. So the same pattern, but now I'm gonna to go to the toms. One, and two, and three, and four, and. beat I'm going to show you is your basic nine-year-old rock beat, I call it. So let's do it at a little bit of faster tempo. We'll do the nine-year-old rock beat. And basically it's one, two, a three, and four. One, two, a three, and four. One, two, three, four. So those are the five beats. The money beat, one and three on the kick, two and four on the snare. The four on the floor beat, one, two, three, and four on the kick drum, two and four on the snare. The build beat, which is four on the floor, eighth notes, one and two and three and four and in both hands on the floor tom and the snare drum. The next one is the tribal beat or the march and they both work you can work it on the floor tom, it becomes the tribal beat. On the snare drum, it becomes the march. Okay, and I showed you how to break it up a little bit. And the last one being the nine-year-old uh, rock beat, I call it. One, two, a three, and four. One, two, a three, and four. And now I'm going to apply these in a song so you can see how you can actually use these in a worship tune. Verse 2, 2, 3.
instrumental. Two, three, four.